press conference. And so as we move forward with energy and momentum to be consistent and sustain this movement, we also need others on our side. And one of the people is Supervisor David Campos. I'm actually here with Supervisor John Avalos as well. I'm here as a member of the Board of Supervisors because I wanted to hear directly from the community what your demands are. I think the city needs to, to carefully uh, consider those demands, but I want to make a couple of points about some things that have happened in the last few days. Uh, what happened with the tragedy of this death is not just an African-American issue. No, it's, not. it's not just a people of color issue. It's a San Francisco issue that concerns all of us. Yes. And I can tell you that as a member, as a former member of the San Francisco Police Commission, what I want to see is a discussion of what I think should have happened in this department years ago, which is real fundamental reform of how the police department operates at every single level. level. Exactly. Yes. And the idea that the police department, the mayor, would respond to what happened by simply saying, we need tasers, misses the whole point. Yes, exactly. If, if you believe that the answer to what happened is to simply say, we need tasers, then we are in deeper trouble than I thought we were. Yes, we are. Because the point here is not what tools were available, but the mentality of, the individual. of how they see the interaction with members of this community exactly. and the training that is needed so that people de-escalate, these officers de-escalate. Yes. And it doesn't matter in some respects what tool you give them unless you change that mentality and provide that de-escalation training, nothing, nothing is gonna change in my view. And the last thing I would say about tasers is that if we're gonna have tasers, which they think they, that we should, the last thing you want is to actually expedite that process. If tasers are the answer in any jurisdiction, they have to be done with the close, careful consultation with the communities that are going to be impacted by those tools. And the last thing I would say, and I would say this because I know it's been a difficult time for the Woods family, I would say that given the costs of a funeral, as a member of, of the city government of San Francisco, I think the city should consider paying for that funeral yes. and reimbursing that yes. family. Yes. So I think they should yes. do that. So with that, yes. I'll turn it over to my colleague, Supervisor John Alvarez. Yes. Yes. Do a resolution oh. and oh. pay for the... Thank you, Brother Supervisor.